What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle. Today we're checking out Rescue HQ, a game where you're gonna build a base, fill it full of fire trucks and police cars and all that kind of stuff, and respond to emergencies. Uh, we have been dubbed the Cadet. Alright, and so we've got the Streets of SF. Let's go I dub the Cadet. Let's start out right there and see how this goes, because this is a blind impressions play. What I do here on the internet is I show you games and I show you my first impressions so that you can get a rough idea for what it's gonna be like the first time you play the game. I think that's especially important because like if I played the game for like 10 hours before I show you the video and then I dive straight in, you're not going to, so you're going to be able to absorb some of the information that I've taught you in the video, but I think a lot of games have difficulty curves that are not necessarily emergent until you've played them yourselves. And so like I want you guys to see me struggle with perhaps maybe the same things you would struggle with so that you would be like, oh, okay, so there's like a curve Welcome to this, to I see. <gasps> I will personally guide you in building this HQ. Tell me your name. Wait, what? Oh, you can't. Well, tough luck. I dub the cadet. Bro, did you like jump too hard on the bed? You got like a noggin that's kind of compressed, man. Did somebody drop an anvil on you? Have you been having Acme-related shenanigans? All right, let's continue. You will set up firefighting, police, and medical departments. You better follow my lead, cadet. All right. First off, let's build up the fire department. Not that I like fire. I mean, it's bright. And if you get close, it's warm and causes delicious... <coughs> terrible pain. Anyways, you've got some money. Put it to use. Build a fire engine, prepare equipment, and get a hiring desk. You do that, and I'll make sure you have some fire emergencies soon enough. Did the mayor just admit to lighting fires in order to justify the budget of the fire department? Man, this is a scandalous neighborhood to live in. Like in the presentation, the graphics look really, really good. I've always been a fan of low-poly style. I don't know what it is about low-poly games, but they make me happy. Like, there's a simplicity to them that just really pops off the screen. Uh, so we need an LF-10 in the garage. All right, so we've got corridors, we've got offices, we've got all this good stuff. Got it, got it. Where do I get my fire truckums at? Where do I get my Where do I get my truckums at? That's what I need. Is I need my truckums. Well, let's get started with what we have for right now. So they want us to have a fire department hiring station. We need an air tank refill section. Okay. Oh, where does this go? The space is blocked. It goes inside of here. Can it go inside of here? It's not inside a utility room. Oh, okay. So I think we're going to have to expand out the utility room ever so slightly. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go with, let's maybe make this a tiny bit larger. I like the Nintendo style music too. It's got kind of a Mario Kart feeling to it. Is that lined up? All right, that looks lined up. We're going to go ahead and delete that wall right there if we can. Can I delete that wall? How do I do this? V, remove wall. Set, sell inner walls that are not attached to any object. Gotcha. Okay, so like, kill that. There we go. There we go. So our utility room is expanded out a little bit. If you didn't see what I did right there, uh, you basically just select this little tool right here, and then you go from the inside of the room out. And so now we've got a, lush, a much larger, more lush space to work with. So let's get our air tank refill station over here. I'll put that up against the wall on that side. Perfecto. Looks good. And the air tank refill station is done. We need air tank storage next. I think we can do that. That seems all right. Which way does this face? It faces from right there. All right, so we'll put it right there like a lovely little picnic basket. And then we also need a fire department hiring station. That's more than likely in the office menu, isn't it? So we've got a department hiring station right here. This is our office, so we'll go ahead and put that in right there. They've already seen fit to give us a freebie office, which I appreciate. I'd actually prefer that there be a door right there. Going back out into the corridor seems inefficient if you're trying to get to the trucks or whatever. And so we need to build an LF something in the garage. There's our fire truck. All right. Let's drop it on in. Fire truck assemble. $10,000 for a whole fire truck? I figure a fire truck will cost at least a half a million. I don't know. What is the cost of a fire truck? Any firefighters out there know the budgetary constraints of buying fire trucks? They've got to be expensive. That's a very specialized tool. And only a limited number of people buy it. And those limited people are exclusively governments. So I'm guessing they're very pricey because everything that gets sold to a government is pricey because they'll just pay it they don't even check the bill are they building a truck from scratch oh well, man somebody got an erector set when they were a kid damn all right 
I'm not that talented. If you told me to build a fire the truck, I'm not sure what I would do. To start. People usually celebrate with tons of fireworks. Expect a lot of fires in urban areas during that time. Okay. Oh my goodness. So we have a national holiday that's taking place. Here, we have an unresponded emergency. And make the tough decisions that determine the safety of the city. The best part? This is also how you earn money. I do like money from time to time. It is a helpful thing to have when going through life. Choose carefully which vehicles, crew, and equipment to send out, as they will be unavailable until this emergency is resolved. Okay. So the top part, you will find resource requirements that you need in order to complete this emergency. The bottom half shows what you can actually assign. Vehicles, crew, and equipment. Okay. So we need like four firefighters. There we go. There's our four firefighters right there. Uh, we probably need a vehicle. That's got water tanks right there. All right, dispatch them. Let's go. Boop, boop. That's the sound of the fire department. It doesn't work that well when you do it that way. I'll be honest with you. It doesn't work out quite as well when you change the song to being about the fire department. You guys responding? I need you guys to respond. Yeah, get up in there. What are you doing right now? It deactivates this station, so they are filling compressed air tanks. Gotcha. And off goes our truck to respond to our first emergency. Oh, we've got to earn 20 reputation if we want to get moving with all this. Sounds like a plan. We've got $98,000 right now. In the garage, we have access to a fire vehicle. We also have a firefighter's vehicle right there, and we have the DLK with an extendable ladder. All right. Uh, so, successful emergency. we got 500 bucks that. and... A fire department. Now I can start to, uh, forward fire issues your way. Obviously, keep growing your department. You'll even be able to handle kittens and trees. Oh uh, yeah. We will definitely need more manpower if we are to thrive. We need to recruit more firefighters. New hires are usually rookies. They're nearly useless in the field. Unless they have really strong superstition, uh, uh, supervision. Having the muscle mass of yogurt. Newly hired rookies are basically useless in emergencies. They can get stronger in a basic training area, usually. Okay, so we can unlock new stations of vehicles. We can only stockpile a limited amount of reputation, and the cap increases at the end of the week. Reputation gain beyond the cap is automatically converted into money. Okay, that sounds cool. I like money. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I want to extend out this corridor right here. That's what I would prefer to do. So let's take this hallway down like so. So that we've got lots of equitable building space for right now. Uh, we can also have a training room, which I think is a really, really good idea. Maybe that'll be enough? I don't know. Uh, can I get, like, a door right here? Yeah, let's go ahead and slap a door in there, I guess. Perfect. So we've got a door. So if we go in the training room, we've got what looks like a water hauling training. We can unlock that, so that seems all right. Uh, so let's go ahead and rotate that into play, and we'll put it right there. And then as far as hiring new people goes, we've got some people over here. They cost about $1,000 a piece. Or these are our employees. Do we have applicants right now? I guess we don't have applicants. So we got to build two water hauling trainings. Oh, never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. I tend to do that. I don't pay attention very well. I've got a very, very short attention span. All right, I'm short in stature, and I'm short in attention span. It's a problem that I've always had in my life, and I've worked to resolve it, but frankly, I just, unless it's like flashing now lights at me. can train for emergencies. Check the applicants tab in the crew menu. Some rookies are willing to join our little cult. <laughs> our cult. So much fun. Assimilating fresh souls, uh, I mean, finding applicants, requires manning recruitment desks. Some may also join after completing objectives. Keep in mind that every crew member needs a locker. Let us keep expanding the common area. And by us, I mean you. Set up a small kitchen and a bathroom where people can eat in peace and use the toilet. Well, respectively. Anyway, if they don't have... Sorry, man. I got a fire I got to respond to. Like, we could do this whole briefing thing. But, like, I've got stuff that needs to be taken care of. So we've got that right there, and they want some air tanks. All right. Go for it. Yeah, do your thing. We'll send these guys on out. Hopefully they'll level up and get some stuff done. These guys are down here training. So they're at level zero right now. It's okay, everybody starts out somewhere. I don't judge. As far as expanding this place out goes, frankly, I kind of feel like the bathroom should be sort of close to the headquarters. Let's go ahead and add a few more doors, too. I'm not really liking how inefficient our base is. 
with regards to like how our people can get around. Like I'd prefer to add like doors and honeycomb this whole place so that they can get from point A to point B more rapidly. As far as our garage is concerned, we've got some new vehicles down here. I don't know if I want to unlock them just yet. So they're going to be back in about five hours. What is this right here? Oh, we've got to set up shifts. Gotcha. Okay. Were we successful on our little adventure? Oh, yeah, we made 1800 bucks, and we got some reputation. Nice. Sounds good. Uh, let me slow the game down. Oh, actually, the game is on the slowest speed right now. Damn, dude, I'm overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed right now, man. I'm a little overwhelmed. Uh, let's get a bathroom all nice and set up. We'll get, like, a, a nice beefy bathroom for everybody to be beefy inside of. And then I'll probably take, like, a door right here. We'll probably line that up right there just for aesthetic purposes. And then inside the bathroom, what do we need? We got showers. All right. That looks good. Uh, we got some turlets over here. Yeah, we can turlet it up. I don't know if four turlets is going to be enough, but... For the moment, I'm okay with taking my chances. We'll get all that stuff built up, and hopefully we won't have any more emergencies that we got to deal with. Let's take a look at our applicants real fast. Do I have any applicants, or are, like... I think this is pretty much just already taken care of. We also need a kitchen, do we? Okay, well, let's go ahead and build a kitchen, I guess. So, kitchen is right here. Go ahead and drop that right there, and then we need another doorses. And we will line that up right there just so it looks good. And then with our kitchen, what can we put inside of here? So with our kitchen, and we've got refrigerators and we've got chairs. Okay. Probably get two of those. Do we get tables or anything else like that? Like, are they just going to like sit in a chair blankly? I think they're just going to sit in a chair blankly. I think that's pretty much what's going to happen over here. And we have no further fire emergencies, but all of our chairs are installed, so that's pretty rad. And then they want us to have a bedroom added to this area. So I guess some people are actually going to sleep at the station. Uh, we will make the bedroom a little bit larger. I like the music. The music's definitely funky. It's got crunch to it. It's crunchy, bro. These crunchy tunes. All right, so we need to have the bedroom. That seems to have worked out okay. I can live with that. Looks good. Uh, I think our fire station is really coming together. It's starting to look like a coherent piece of oiled machinery. I don't know. What do you think, chat? You think it looks good? I think it looks good. I'm kind of pleased with this. It's bigger than most fire stations that I've seen, but I'm digging it. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, we got like those smooth grooves now. Okay. Now it's like a fire department noir game. When she walked into my station, she walked into my life like a hurricane of fire and flames. So, like, what's up with these guys right here? Do they have, like, stats or whatever? Like, what's up with their little... I don't want to select the bed. I want to select the firefighter. So, I don't think any other menus or anything that we can look inside of here to see how, like, tired or how strong they are. Nobody is working here. Well, yeah, because they're sleeping right now. It's, like, midnight. Nobody's working right now. People don't work at midnight, giggity. What's up with my fire truck? Does it need to be repaired? lower it gets the higher the chance of a breakdown do I get like a repair station or something like that that will fix that oh we gotta respond to a fire we got uh, reports of a tire fire going on inside the public park uh, we'll go ahead and send out a couple of these kids so that person is exhausted this person is a chemical specialist okay Definitely send them out with a couple air tanks, too. I don't want to, like, overtask them on stuff. Oh, we have a new applicant. Who's this guy? Jacqueline Willie. Hire for the day shift or hire for the night shift? Sure, we'll hire for the day shift. We'll try to have a few more people around. 
And we've got 12 lockers right now, so I think we can have 12 people on each shift. I don't know. Like, I would Don assume Carleo, that's how it works. In his unending wisdom, has decided to <coughs> rat out his peers. The trial happens at the end of the week. Make sure his old friends don't get too close to him at the trial. What? Dude, that's outside my purview. That's not my job. Like, that's not a thing that I do. Like, you understand that, right? That this is a fire department. This isn't a police department. You know that, right? That we're not the same thing? Did this man just launch himself backwards onto the toilet? He did. He's like, Nyah! like a rag doll. I guess sometimes you gotta throw yourself into the stall with conviction. It's the way she plays sometimes. It's just the way she goes. Uh, that person's hungry. I think I'm gonna line up a few more things for the kitchen. I think we might need a couple more refrigerators. There we go. We'll put in a couple more fridges. We've got extra money right now. We're earning. We're getting it done. So we can buy this extra area if we really want to. Okay, but we gotta have reputation rank number two in order to get that done. I'll probably start building a corridor that goes off this way maybe. We should also probably make the garage a little bit bigger. Yeah, somebody should probably go in and fix that vehicle too. So we've got an extendable ladder and we've got a fire vehicle. Sure, unlock the fire vehicle, why not? Uh, will it fit in right here? It won't. It just doesn't fit in. That poor little fire truck, he just doesn't fit in. All he's ever wanted to do is fit in, and he just, he just doesn't. Poor little guy just doesn't fit in. It's okay, buddy. You can be an outcast with me. I give you permission. We'll hang out together. We'll chillax. Oh, we've got another responding fire right here. Now, what do we have going on? So got a couple people that are tired. We're going to need four firefighters for this one. Uh, we'll obviously send out some kind of water tank. And then we'll also get them stacked up with air tanks just in case. You guys go ahead and go out and respond to this. The upcoming shift. We have no fire department people, unfortunately. Yeah, proceed to next shift. It's alright. I mean, it's unfortunate that these guys had to go respond, but I get the feeling that if you work in emergency services, you probably are expected to work late every now and again. That's my guess anyways. I would like to make the garage a little bit bigger so that we can have a few more fun trucks. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds fun. Then inside the garage, we can buy like this dude right here. Yeah, let's get this other fire truck right here. That sounds cool. So we've got the LF-10 and we've got a TLF-3000. Another mission down. A little bit more reputation to be had. Oh yeah. And so what I wanted to do over here is actually I wanted to put a corridor in on this side. I think that'd look good. So we put in a the corridor right there, right? About to start. Be ready to respond. And we put a door in right there and then like a door in right there. So that that has an access point. You see what I mean? Like, it's looking good now. I really hope this fire truck gets built soon. I guess I can unlock that, too. For 12000 we could get the DLK Extendable Ladder Fire Truck. So you can get some extra boom boom if you're looking to buy some new vroom vroom. Gotta put that in six-year-old terms, because everybody knows six-year-olds love fire trucks. Fire trucks are the dopest. I had one when I was six, and if you push down on the top of it, it was like, boop, 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 and all the sirens would go off, and all the lights would go off. That thing ate through batteries, though. That thing ate through batteries with a quickness. I expect that thing to work for like five minutes before the batteries ran out. I believe we kind of have stuff we got to keep our eyes on right now. Is everybody okay? I wish it said right here who was on day shift and who was on night shift. Oh cool, there's our new fire truck and it does look different from the other one. It's got a different light configuration. Nice dude, I'm actually enjoying this. This is a pretty cool little, it's a pretty cool little take on kind of like the city builder genre I guess. I mean if you're into things like theme hospital and stuff like that, you'll probably like this. Uh, this guy is an industrial fire specialist, we'll go ahead and send them out. This person is a rookie, so needs to train to become useful. This person is a level one firefighter. Let's send out the new truck. Oh really, the new truck provides... So that gives you one water, this gives you three water? Oh nice, dude, okay. Sounds cool. 
Hopefully my newbies are over here like training. I really sincerely hope. Like I need them to become useful to the squad. Are you going to be useful to the squad anytime soon? Apparently, the only thing she's useful to is a pillow right now. So, bummer. Uh, we really haven't had a whole lot of new t new hires, so... How many members of this crew are idle? They will carry options around your base and increase station efficiency. Remember to always keep a few on hand. Yeah, I'd like to hire another guy or two for this shift, but... I wonder how long it takes them. Oh, it looks like they get one training every single time they finish this off. Successful emergency, let's get paid. Terrific. Don't forget to add on to those spaces as your team grows. Ah, now we got the police station let's stuff. Set up a basic... We got another fire that needs to be responded to though. Uh, we don't need an extra fireman. Like I think we're good on the fireman front. Oh, that person's level two fire. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you've got these criteria over here. That, like, I saw the criteria, but with the firemen, I was wondering why we always started out with, like, I was clicking three guys. This person contributes two because they're an experienced firefighter. Oh, they only need one air tank. Okay, yeah, dispatch. All right, so we need a police station. I don't know if we have the money to do that just yet, but that's exactly why I built this corridor over here. So I assume we're going to need, like, a motorcade over here somewhere. So with the police department, I think in the interest of pre-building, I'm going to put a corridor in right here. Just to remind myself that I want that right there, because then maybe we'll be able to make the motor pool over here or something like that. That'll be cool. I think that'll work. And so anyways, for the police department, how do I shift between, so offices. Oh, it's all inside this one menu. Okay, so we got a police hiring station. We have a paperwork storage. We've got a police desk. We'll unlock that. All right, dude, I want to play this more. This one episode is not going to be enough for me. I can tell already. That's a good sign when I'm already jonesing to play more of the game before we've even started. So let's put in like a little office over here. There's our police office. And then inside of the office, obviously, we're going to need a police department hiring station. So I think I'll maybe put that right... There, I suppose. I'll get to it. Calm down, game. Calm down. I am aware. I am aware of the situation. I'm working on it. Just, you gotta give me a second. So, we've got a police desk and we need a paperwork storage as well. So, let's dive on into the office. I actually should probably just let this run so we can make money while we're doing our thing, too. For paperwork storage, we'll probably go, like, one right there and one right there. They're a little expensive, but we got money coming in right now. So, police emergencies produce investigations files. Process and evolve them using the various stations that can be built in the office. Gain money and reputation from processing investigation files. Okay, so there's actually a differential in terms of the gameplay loop for each department, too. Like, firefighters are mostly responding to things, but police are responding to things and also doing investigations that maybe get rid of criminals and stuff like that. All right. So, the police hiring station is in. We need a police desk. What's the difference between a police desk and a police... Converts paperwork. Oh, so this is the poor mook that's just got to sit there doing paperwork all day. I feel you. I understand. So the next thing that we're going to need is we need a police cruiser. And we need like a staff room for the police. Alright. Oh, that goes in a cell. I don't want... Wait, what? It's in a holding cell? I don't know about that one, Chief. Is my corridor made out of holding cell? I'm not sure what's happening right now. I'm a little bit confused about why it won't put that door in. I was going to put a door right there. Anyways, let's see if we can figure out what we can do with our police motorcade here. So, garages. So there's our police cruiser. Oh, they all deploy from the same spot. Oh, that's nice. Can I move this? Is it possible to, like, move this object right here? 
Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, so when this gets back, I'm going to slam it up against the wall real fast so that we save a little bit of room. And I guess our garage is going to have to get a little bit larger. I think this is probably where the majority of our funding is going to go for the foreseeable future. Can I buy this? It's $45,000. we are kind of too poor for that right now. I guess I can have a separate garage over here. I don't really want to. Why is there a weird holdover wall right there? What is that? I don't like that. Make that go away. What is that? I don't understand why there's a wall right there. Why is there a wall right there? I will be honest with you. I kind of hate the fact that that's right there. Like, I kind of don't like it. I got to wait for these guys to get back so I can rearrange all the vehicles over here. There we go. A little bit more money. You know what? Let's live dangerously. Let's just unlock this little area over here. So apparently we have two police officers that just, like, auto-hired those? Oh, okay. I can live with that. I didn't think it was going to auto-hire, but it did, so, you know, whatever. wonder if they can still fit in there. You think they can fit in between these? Let's find out. So there's our crew. Oh, we don't even need that. There's a cat stuck in a high tree. I guess we can just send that. That's fine. Let's see if they can load up when there's no space in between the trucks. Yeah, they do. They load it up just fine. Let's see, can they fit in between? They can, nice, okay, so that was the one thing I was worried about is that maybe they weren't gonna be able to fit in between my fire trucks right there, but it seems like they thought of that with the game's development, so good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I would like to buy this area. It's probably expensive and I probably shouldn't have, but I'll take some chances. Uh, we got ourselves a police officer over here. Let's go ahead and hire the police officer. Oh no, it's a firefighter, okay, well, so we'll, fire, we'll, hire, we'll hire the firefighter for the night shift. I think everybody is going to be using these beds, too, so maybe what we'll do... We'll put in a door right there, too, so that you can access it from that side of the corridor. I wish the training room had an access point from this side. I suppose it could if I just rearrange some of the stuff in the room. Yeah, let's rearrange it. We'll take this. And we'll move it over there. That way we can have a door over here. And then maybe we can put like a weight bench or something in right there so that they get better at their jobs. I don't know. Do we have police training in here? Do we not have that yet? Well, damn. Anyways, uh, this game is called Rescue HQ. I'll have a link for you down below. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming. And I love doing it. So please stop by again in the future. I'd be glad to have you. Take care, everybody. And hi do.